Hold on to your heart because today, something intense is unfolding. Imagine this. Whispers behind closed doors, secrets being revealed, and someone out there consulting an attorney about you. Divine intervention is at work, and God has an essential message for you. It's time to face your current situation directly. Prepare for this revelation, as every moment carries significance. Did you know that discussions about your life might be occurring with a legal advisor? This consultation could reveal hidden truths about your circumstances. The divine message is clear. Your guardian angels are illuminating the reasons behind this legal counsel and its potential impact on your life. Picture this. Right now, in a place unknown to you, a crucial conversation is happening. At its core is a surprising revelation. Someone you may have known for a long time has been secretly harboring deep affection for you, admiring you from afar. This person, close to your heart, is embarking on a significant endeavor, engaging in a serious dialogue with a legal representative. This discussion carries immense weight and is far from trivial. What could be the focal point and how might it impact your connection with this individual? The intrigue is palpable, with endless possibilities awaiting exploration. Picture this. After what feels like an eternity of silent longing, someone dear to you has finally mustered the courage to articulate their profound emotions. Can you sense the suspense in the air, as if the entire universe is holding its breath for this pivotal moment? This isn't merely an expression of fondness. It signifies a commitment to stand by your side indefinitely. This individual, whose heart beats in harmony with yours, is embarking on a journey of unparalleled dedication. Their bold leap forward speaks volumes about their feelings and the depth of their resolve. The bond between you deepens, paving the way for a future filled with affection, faith, and harmony. Imagine having someone in your life who envisions grand ambitions for you. Someone who sees the potential to elevate your relationship to unprecedented heights. Can you feel the excitement building? It's as though the cosmos is orchestrating a monumental transformation in your life. At the heart of it all lies this truth. This individual isn't merely toying with the idea. They are wholeheartedly devoted to spending eternity by your side. To them, marriage transcends a legal agreement. It embodies a sacred commitment, a pledge to stand by you through every trial and triumph life may bring. They aspire to be your unwavering pillar of support, your anchor amidst life's storms, and your wellspring of joy in moments of victory. As you embark on this journey together, you'll not only find fulfillment in your bond, but also honor your family's heritage with pride. Can you fathom it? After what feels like an eternity of anticipation, this is your time to shine. Your moment to embrace the love and happiness you've yearned for. So grasp it firmly. For this is your chance to step into a future brimming with infinite possibilities and boundless love. Imagine having a companion who has steadfastly stood by your side through every trial and tribulation. Someone with whom you've shared a lifetime's worth of experiences. Picture this dear friend taking a significant step forward to formally profess their love and dedication to you, ready to cement your connection in an unbreakable bond. This isn't just about romantic gestures. It's about the profound bond forged through years of shared experiences and unwavering support. This person is more than just a romantic partner. They are a constant companion and a source of strength during life's most challenging moments. They have stood by you through thick and thin, witnessing your lowest points and offering unwavering loyalty and care. Despite the hardships of the past leaving their mark, the echoes of their heartfelt gestures have left a lasting imprint on your soul. Now, this steadfast individual is stepping forward to intertwine their life with yours, as if all the pieces of life's puzzle are falling into place perfectly. They bring immense joy and fulfillment filling the voids in your heart and illuminating your world. In them, you found not just a partner but your soulmate, a source of boundless love and happiness that you never want to let go of. According to divine guidance, unconditional love is on the horizon. 
and the time has come for you to embrace it fully. This divine message speaks to the institution of marriage, indicating that someone seeks legal counsel because they are eager to embark on a lifelong journey with you. It's a joyful affirmation from a higher power that the person you deeply care for is ready to commit to a lifetime together. Envision someone seeking legal counsel, not out of impulsive emotion, but from a deep-seated conviction and understanding of the commitment ahead. It's as though their decision is guided by a force beyond themselves, a divine orchestration aligning two souls in perfect synchrony. This connection isn't happenstance. It's the result of meticulous planning by a higher power, a testament to the intricate design of the cosmos. Every step and decision has been meticulously arranged to lead you to the love and companionship you've longed for. Standing by you through it all is someone whose greatest wish is to see you happy, offering unwavering support through life's ups and downs. Their desire goes beyond sharing your happiness. They want to bask in the glow of your joy, to be a constant source of upliftment in times of need and jubilation in times of triumph. This is a love that transcends the ordinary, a boundless friendship with profound depth. As you embark on this journey together, you are filled with reverence and gratitude for the divine guidance that has led you here. The legal consultation, while necessary, is a mere formality on the path to a higher purpose. It transcends paperwork and legalities. It is about solidifying a connection deeply rooted in love destined to withstand the test of time. The individual expressing a desire to marry you is not just a partner or companion. They're your true love, the one you've always envisioned. This journey signifies more than just the union of two souls. It is a divine orchestration infused with heavenly love and guidance. With God overseeing every step, your soulmate is devoted to nurturing and deepening this bond each day. As this enchanting love story unfolds, remember that God's blessings extend far beyond your relationship, encompassing every facet of your life. He walks alongside you, showering you with kindness and abundant blessings. Reflect on the profound significance of this divine gift your soulmate, the one destined to be by your side in marriage bestowed upon you by God. Embrace this celestial connection with open arms, for it is a testament to God's infinite love for you. Just as he orchestrated this union, he will guide you through the challenges and triumphs that lie ahead. Trust in God's plan, welcome the impending marriage with joy, and allow him to lead you toward the fulfillment that awaits. The message within this revelation is unmistakable. Do not let discouragement or dismay take hold of your heart. God's determination is steadfastly focused on ensuring your victory over every obstacle, guaranteeing the fulfillment of your deepest desires. Despite any adversary's efforts to distract or harm you, take comfort in knowing that an angel appointed by divine decree watches over you, beholding the radiance of God's face, shielding you and securing your triumph. As your eternal shepherd, I have intricately woven days of unparalleled blessing into the very fabric of your existence. When you kneel in prayer, the seeds of your unwavering faith and relentless determination blossom, heralding a harvest that will flood your soul with tears of joy and reverberate through history with echoes of exultant laughter. In this sacred journey, anchor your heart in steadfast belief, knowing that no challenge is beyond overcoming. Stand firm, for I am ever-present, never abandoning or forsaking you. Embrace my promises with boundless joy, prioritizing my divine plan above all else. By doing so, you will propel yourself from one triumph to the next, encountering the magnificence of my faithfulness and the abundance of my blessings in your life. Embrace this odyssey with unshakable faith and courage, for I am guiding you toward a path overflowing with blessings and triumphant victories. With unwavering determination, address the obstacles before you, confident that the heavens will align to shower you with divine provision, fulfilling your deepest desires and lifting your spirit to new heights each day. 
The horizon unfolds like the petals of a fresh blossom in the morning light, whispering promises of new beginnings, ripe opportunities, and challenges that strengthen the resilience of your soul. Cloaked in the armor of faith, press forward, strengthened by the sacred teachings and reassured by the presence of your almighty protector by your side. My presence brightens the darkest nights, offers solace in the scorching heat, provides stability amidst life's tempests, and offers gentle comfort in the calming breeze. Behold, the days of divine favor are upon you, as decreed by your sovereign Lord. To be blessed is to bask in the joy flowing from the heavens, a divine provision nourishing your soul and fulfilling your essence. It is to face every challenge with unwavering conviction, knowing that victory is your inheritance as a beloved child of the Most High. Blessedness is discovered in the simplicity of finding contentment in your daily sustenance, entrusting me, your divine shepherd, to cater not only to your physical needs, but also to the deeper longings of your soul, the well-being of your family, and the wisdom to nurture your spirit. These facets of your life are significant to me, allowing you to thrive under my guidance, living out the principles of my word with joy and dedication. I assure you that days filled with blessings are not merely on the horizon. They are already present. Believe in this truth wholeheartedly, for my all-powerful word never fails to manifest. Bring me your burdens, and do not carry the weight of your worries alone. Now is the time for peace and rejuvenation. Often, you exhaust your energy caring for others, leaving yourself depleted. Today, I draw close to lift you up, cradling you in my arms and offering comfort, enveloping you in boundless love. Remember to prioritize your own well-being, setting aside moments to seek me through prayer, attentively listening for my voice, and absorbing my divine guidance. Cling tightly to my promises, for I have a plan to transform not just your life, but also that of your family. I desire to lift the heavy burdens from your weary shoulders, soothe troubled hearts, and calm overwhelmed minds. Your life was not meant to be a constant struggle under the weight of endless demands and turmoil. I have liberated and redeemed you, empowering you to stand confidently liberated from the chains of defeat or shame imposed by your adversaries. I have bestowed upon you immeasurable value and honor, and I pledge this to you sincerely. Embrace my truth openly, for I offer you countless opportunities to begin anew, casting aside the shadows of past mistakes. Direct your focus toward your loved ones, prayer, and nurturing the abundant blessings I have bestowed upon you. Envision blessings ready to overflow into your life, awakening each morning free from fear or anxiety, your heart brimming with courage and joy. Initiate this transformation today. Express gratitude and proclaim with unwavering faith, thank you, my God, for granting me another day of life. Feel divine strength enveloping you from head to toe as my words firmly imprint within your consciousness bringing balance to your thoughts and emotions. Retain all that I have imparted to you, equipping you to face today's challenges. Recognize and embrace my love for you. Accept my peace. Navigate your life with a determined heart and find comfort in my support. Dismiss the sorrowful whispers of your pillow at night, for in this moment, you are embraced by the tenderness of my divine presence. The pain you endure does not signify your downfall or attest to your failure. Surrender it to me and find solace in my embrace. If tears beckon to flow, allow them to cascade freely. I yearn to partake in every tear, to stand steadfastly by your side in moments of sorrow. I deeply empathize with your pain, and it pains me as well, yet remember this. We are bound together in victory. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited and every step is an act of trust. This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown, relying solely on His guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. 
I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1, which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith, irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number one, walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust and decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. My friends, let us strive to walk by faith, grounded in the truth of God's word rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number two, trusting in God's timing over our own. The concept of time often perplexes us. We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about His perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course 
even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction. It's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's Ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often mean stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's calm, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20 verse 29, where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. 
As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging, as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number six, persevering in faith despite challenges. The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number seven, walking in faith, not by sight. The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown Trusting in God's word sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, assured that His plan for us is perfect and His timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. 
Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding, for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life, and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed and the day brims with potential? This moment, so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, we delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day, exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, you are the most important part of my day. This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, 
acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God, allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him, and in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives, trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the one who promises to be our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. 
Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord, I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. Then, I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.